Philippians chapter 3. Run straight for the goal. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concision, for we are the circumcision which worship God in the Spirit, and rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh, though I might also have confidence in the flesh. If any other man thinketh that he had whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law, of Pharisee concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. Pause. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Jesus, for Christ. Yet doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ. Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do them but dung that I may win Christ and be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteous which is of God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the following of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained either, were already perfect, but I follow after it, if I, that I may apprehend that for which I, which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us, therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded, and if anything, yea, be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. Imitate Paul, brethren. Be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. For many walk of whom I have told you, often and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body 
that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Chapter 4. Paul's Advice. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and longed for my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord. My dearly beloved, I beseech Idiodeus and beseech Sinchi that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord, rejoice in the Lord always, and again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made unto God, known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have been learned, and received, and heard, and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Paul says, Thank you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that now, at the last of last your care of me, had flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, there with be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound everywhere in all things. I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthened me. Notwithstanding, ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. Now ye Philippians know also that I, that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica, ye sent once and again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. But I have all and abound. I am full, having received of Aphrodite the things which were sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by 
Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren which are with me greet you. All the saints salute you, chiefly they that are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.